Hey everybody, I'd like to draw a banana today. I've got my paper here, it's portrait style, because my banana is going to be kind of going up and down. It's kind of taller than it is wide. And I've got two pens here, a thick one and a thin um, ballpoint pen. So I'll start off my thick one. Okay, so I'm going to do the top of the banana first, right? I'll do this kind of big, skinny, curvy part of my banana. That's going to be the part you eat. And out of this, I would like to draw the peel. And the peel's a lot of fun, but you know what? Let me, let me finish this off first. I'm going to come down here, and I'm just going to draw in the bottom half of my banana. My little banana belly button there. There we go. Perfect. Now, let's draw this peel. The space in between them, the peel's kind of fun. I'm going to draw a line that kind of comes off and over and down like this, a swoop. And now I'll come back up and then just kind of flatten it out. See, it's like a moon shape. I'll draw that over here too. This long swoopy part, and I'll come back up, a little bit different kind of curve, and then you just kind of flatten it out. I think that's enough. I, I might add some more some other time, but that's enough for right now. Now banana peels, you know, they have a little bit of thickness to them, right? So I want to put maybe a little edge on it. A little banana, banana edge, something like that. Okay, so there's a pretty good banana. What I think I might do now is go back with my ballpoint pen. Put in that little banana belly button thing that happens down here. Also, banana peels have kind of like parts to them. Like there's like different sides almost. And I like to put in a little bit of texture, a little bit of um, shading here. Also, just kind of random little spots because bananas tend to have spots going up here, the actual fruit of the banana, you know, that has a kind of little texture to it too. You can just leave it completely white if you want, or you can kind of add whatever you would like to it. The peel definitely has some kind of texture to it. I think I might go a little like this to indicate that there is some, some fibrous stuff going on there. There we go. Nice banana. Now, bananas are funny. There's just something funny about bananas. So, I'm going to make my banana kind of goofy. Some goofy banana eyes. Mm, you know what? I think I'm going to switch to my thin sharpie here for a sec. Because I see this guy having a really goofy kind of wobbly smile. And maybe have him stick out his toe because he's a silly banana. Nice banana. And I'll go back here and while I'm at it, I'll just give my banana some legs. Oh, bananas are really goofy. They don't really have legs, but I'm going to give my banana legs because I want to make a goofy banana. Should I give him arms? This would be tough. I could give him arms here, but that would get in the way of his banana peel. Or I could give him arms here, but that would be kind of strange. But you know what? What the heck? Let's give our banana some weird arms. You know, it's, it's fun to just mess around when you draw cartoons. And if you get it wrong, that's okay. Just do it over again. Because drawing is just like anything else in this world. The more you do it, the better you will get. There's no one born with the gift of drawing bananas. It's just something we have to practice over time and get better at. Oh, 
one last thing and then we'll call it a day. Let's give this banana a little shadow. Keep the shadow off his other leg so it looks like he's kind of dancing around. You know what? I'm having a lot of fun with this banana. I'm enjoying this. I don't know. didn't really expect myself to enjoy drawing a banana so much. I think a little, a little crazy. Give him some motion lines. Maybe some music notes. A little dancing banana. I bet he's doing the limbo or something. I don't know what kind of dances bananas do. But there we go. I think I'll leave it at that. Thanks very much for drawing a banana with me.